There are many different nicknames for American people. Some are affectionate, some are humorous, and some are potentially offensive. But we didn't make them up, we're just reporting them for educational yes. purposes, so... And we have already made a video about nicknames for the British. Yes, check out that video after this one. This topic has been suggested by Lucy's dad, John, from the YouTube channel John Atkins Lost Norwich. So if you've got a complaint, here is his email address scrolling across the front. <laughs> Yank or Yankee. The exact origin of this term is not known, but there are several theories. Within the United States, the term Yankee is usually used to refer to people from New England or from people from the northern states. That being said, it has been used to refer to Americans in general since the 18th century, mostly by the British. Sorry again. <laughs> Some say it was first used by British General James Wolfe in 1758 when he was commanding some New England soldiers. The earliest recorded use in this context was by British naval officer Horatio Nelson, who used it in a 1784 letter. Others say it's a Cherokee word, coming across the screen at the top here, <laughs> which means coward. Are you going to pronounce that one, Lucy? <laughs> I did try, but I, I uh, feel like I might have failed. Yeah. Yeah, if anyone knows how it's pronounced, perhaps you could put the phonetic spelling in the comment section below. Others say it comes from the Dutch word janky, which is a diminutive of Jan, as many Dutch immigrants settled in the northeast part of the United States. The song Yankee Doodle actually started out as a British song. This dates back to the early 1700s. The song describes a sloppy person, originally sang by the British soldiers to mock the amateur American soldiers. Yank is short for Yankee and rhymes with septic tank. Septic tank Yank is from Cockney rhyming slang and is also from Australian derogatory slang. The Australians also shorten septic tank to seppo. Seppo? <laughs> Is there an Australian in the room? An yeah, Australian has entered the room. <laughs> Gringo, this is a Spanish nickname for the Americans. Its origins are uncertain, but it probably comes from the Spanish word gringo, which means foreigner or stranger. Uncle Sam, this is a personification of the United States government. He is often depicted as a tall, thin man with a white beard, wearing a top hat and a suit with stars and stripes. This nickname may have originated during the War of 1812. At this time, a beef packer named Samuel Wilson supplied barrels of beef to the US Army. These were stamped with the letters U.S. Soldiers began referring to the barrels as Uncle Sam's and the nickname stuck. Sam. This is a term used by the Russians to describe Americans, usually in a derogatory way. Its origins are uncertain, but it may come from the name Samuel, which is the name used to describe Uncle Sam. Cowboys. This name comes from the American frontier era, when cowboys were a common sight in the Western states. It has become a symbol of American individualism and ruggedness. So we have said some nice things. Yeah. Eagles. This nickname is from the national bird of the United States, the bald eagle. The bald eagle is a symbol of freedom and strength. GIs. This nickname refers to government issue. This was a nickname given to American soldiers during World War II. It has since become a general term for American soldiers. In fact, your great aunt was a GI bride. She was, yes, she met her husband when he was a GI in the UK and then she came back to America with him afterwards. Mm. McDonald's. This is the nickname used by some people from Japan to describe the Americans. It comes, of course, from the fast food chain McDonald's. It is often used in a friendly or joking way. Have we missed any nicknames for American people? I'm slightly nervous to ask, but if we have, please pop them down in the comment section below. We really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to us on YouTube.